Okay, Costas, I know I know nothing about your story, so mm -hmm. tell, tell me what it is that you're doing. Uh, I'm basically near in Sierra. I arrived a few months ago. Uh, by training, I'm a modeler, complex system models, and, and uh, uh, I'm looking at the interactions between the human and the, and the, the human and the social component and the environmental component. So the uh, studying the interactions between ecosystems and communities and have and understand how a policy framework or a decision making framework uh, fits together with a lot of uh, biophysical measures that we aiming on improving the environmental conditions. So what would be the implications of your work? The implications is learning how we can live harmoniously as individuals and as communities with the increased needs to protect our environment. And I think this is uh, one of the challenges we're facing as more and more communities are uh, uh, facing more and more environmental problems. So what are the consequences if, we, if our communities don't acquire this new approach? Well, the problem is that uh, we have a lot of pressure, uh, a lot of pressures from environmental problems, water issues, uh, pollution issues, we have land use, and sprawl issues. All those uh, issues have been pressuring our communities the last uh, 20, 30 years. Uh, on the other hand, we have some needs that we have to reconcile ourselves with, including population growth, including the need to go to work every day, the need to, to be productive and, and do what, what else we are doing uh, in an efficient way. And the challenge now is not going back and unlearn to do the things we learn and we love to do, but how we learn to live with new and innovative ways to protect our environment. And this requ uh, requires changing both our attitudes and our behavior and learning how to work with uh, new environmental issues and restrictions and measures in the future. So are you taking the work of scientists and finding and drawing the lessons out of that for the way that people can live with less of an impact on the environment and then working on the way to introduce those lessons into everyday life with the clear description of your work? Introducing the lessons to everyday life of, of people is, is part of a, a more ex extension type of work. What, what I'm focusing on is, is try to get a small peek on the future and try to understand how, what kind of solutions we have in the future available uh, about decisions we can do today. For example, uh, Look at the sprawl issues where a lot of my, our major cities are, are facing. A lot of those problems that we're facing today, uh, we can trace them back 20, 30 years in decision making of city construction. Uh, answering the question if the decision makers back then knew the implications that we are facing today, today those generations, would they make the same decisions? Would, would, you, would you describe your role as that of a future caster? Yes, my, my official role with CSIRO is a, a regional future analyst. And uh, what we try to understand is how the complexity on a social and economic uh, um, structure uh, affects and being affected by environmental issues. And, and understanding the, the implications for the future is really important. So what, what specific... Um how far ahead are you looking and what are you looking at any specific geographical areas of Australia? Uh, most of all, the significant part of the work that I'm starting working now is, uh, is looking within the range of the sea change communities, which is about 100 kilometres from the coastline, and especially the, the range, the, the geographical range where the communities are overtaking the transition between traditional rural or agricultural communities to major urban centres or service centres, if you like, and that's a geographic component. In terms of time, uh, I think we are confident about studying the implications for the future within a period
period of 30 to 50 years. After that, it's, it's our ability to infer about future consequences is, is going beyond the science component. So what are the dangers you see for these uh, newly emerging sea change communities unless some longer term planning decisions are made? One of the major things that personally uh, struck me when I came here to Townsville, for example, is, is how we could have learned if we had the ability to have an estimate of, of the amount of new people coming into the city every year, a few years in, in, in advance. In that way, we could have planned better, we could have made more infrastructure available, we could uh, provide some solutions to decision makers or some options for, for decisions and solutions that uh, wouldn't make a difference. And I think empowering the communities with the abilities to have better options and better, more informed decision, to make more informed decisions in the, for the future, it's, it's a very powerful tool and a very uh, and a way that the science can, can help the community. Okay, well, what, what does that mean in tangible terms then for those communities, those sea change communities we're talking about? What sort of decisions can they make which would... Well, there are a, a lot of decisions. The, the first category of decision is infrastructure. Knowing the, the, the probable demand for a certain type of development helps. The demand for resources, so we can study the, the future sensitivities uh, of the impacts of our uh, residential expansion, for example, would have in the resources, is another type of, uh, of uh, tangible decision outcome, uh, especially when it comes down to uh, economic and, and uh, social type of uh, issues, then the need to establish a sense of community, a sense of place, and a lot of social networks that they are in place to support this expansion, so this city change. Uh, phenomenon is it's important. Uh, a lot of those communities they have no sense of place because people are coming from different places and there, are, there is no character to them. So uh, and a future issue might be how we can establish a sense of place, a sense of community, a sense of social and economic networks that can support this change in the future in a way that is sustainable and environmentally friendly. Okay. We, we better stop there. It's interesting stuff. Um.